Hi everybody, welcome back. In this uh, video, we're gonna be talking about small-scale integration, um, asynchronous counters again. So individual flip-flops, how do we wire them up? But in this particular video, part three of this series, we wanna talk about what's the difference between counting up versus counting down, okay? Um, a big mistake that typically made is made whenever I don't tell kids how to do this is if they go through and I say, hey, listen, I want you to make this thing count down instead. Most kids will say, well, all I have to do then is connect this probe to Q not instead of to Q. And while that's a, an interesting guess, and I get why you get that or wh why you would think that that's not actually the way that it works. Our probes are always going to connect to Q no matter what. OK, we're still having preset and clear. We're still going to tie those to the same spot to VCC here. We still have the external clock that's going to go in and go to the first flip flop. So really, everything is going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change is where do I pull? my clock signal from the previous flip-flops. You can see here right now we have an up counter. And right now I have, if I look closely, I have a positive edge triggered clock on each of these flip-flops, positive edge triggered. And it's tied into Q not, a negative Q, right? So I have a negative, the negated output going to a positive edge trigger. That happens here as well, okay? If I look over next to it, I have a flip-flop that is counting down, counter, excuse me, that's counting down, okay? I want you to notice everything is basically the same. Presets and clears tied to five volts. The clock is connected to the first input. The outputs are connected, the probes are connected to Q. But in this case, the only thing that I've changed now is that these positive edge triggered clock is connected to the positive Q output. So by tying in to the opposite, instead of tying into Q, I've tied into Q naught or vice versa, I guess. I've tied into Q this time. I've created a down counter. In other words, if we think about this in polarities, okay, when I tie a negative to a positive and they have opposite polarities, we will end up with the device that counts up. And if I have, a device where we have the same polarity, positive ties into a positive, it will count down. Nice little summary of this information can be found on this slide. Feel free to print this off. I think I've given this to you in class or you can find it from me in class. Um, and this is also directly off of our PowerPoint. So you'll notice what happens again. It doesn't matter if it's a D flip-flop or a JK flip-flop. If I tie in a negated Q, not a, ne a not, okay, a not Q, so a negative, here to a positive edge triggered clock, negative to positive counts up. Over here, this is a negative edge triggered clock, which means I have to tie into the positive Q in order to use it and count up, okay? Positive to negative. Over here, I have positive Q to positive clock. Same polarity will count down or negative Q to negative edge triggered because of the bubble, that will also count down. So that's how you create an up counter versus a down counter. Hopefully this makes sense. In the next video, I'm gonna start walking into some other concepts about how do I limit what I wanna to count to? What if instead of counting zero to seven, I wanted to count zero to six? That's called modulus, and we'll get into that in video four.